What I'm about to share is going to make Kamala Harris really uncomfortable. So let's speak some truth and shed some light on no less than five claims she made in her debate with VP Mike Pence that simply weren't true. The first is Joe Biden will not raise taxes. The truth and the fact is Joe Biden has been very clear. He will not raise taxes on anybody who makes less than 400000 Guess what? If you elect me, I'm not going to have you. Your taxes are going to be raised, not cut. I'd, I'd make the changes on the corporate taxes on day one. And the reason I'd make the change in the corporate taxes, it can raise $1.3 trillion if they just start paying at 28 percent instead of 21 percent. So in other words, Biden wants the USA to have higher corporate taxes than communist China, which is currently 25 percent. But that's not all. Biden also wants to eliminate Trump's tax cuts. And folks, on day one, on day one, I will move to eliminate Trump's tax cuts. The second lie is that Trump will remove pre-existing conditions on health care. If you have a pre-existing condition, heart disease, diabetes, breast cancer, they're coming for you. OK, I'm confused. Didn't Trump sign an executive order protecting pre-existing conditions for Americans in September of this year? Or was that my imagination? And the third lie is Biden will not ban fracking. That Joe Biden will not ban fracking. That is a fact. That is a fact. Oh, really? Now that sounds convincing, but wait. No more, no new fracking. We, we are, we are going to get rid of fossil fuels. Well, like what about, say, stopping fracking and stopping yeah. new pipes? Would there be any place for fossil fuels, including coal and fracking, in a Biden administration? No, we would, we, would, we would work it out. And this leads me on to the fourth lie, which is President Trump lost the trade war with China. Um, the, the president's trade war with China. You lost that trade war. You lost it. Not according to legendary economist and investor Dr. Gary Schilling. It's the buyer that has the upper hand, not the seller. The buyer has, has the ultimate power. And who's the buyer? U.S. is the buyer. China's a seller. But don't take his word for it. According to Bloomberg, Trump is the winner of round one with China. China's been manipulating its currency for years, taking advantage of soft U.S. import tariffs and undercutting American jobs because of the ease in which U.S. businesses have been offshoring their manufacturing to China. And this brings me on to the last lie, lie number five. Her work as AG in California is a model for the USA. First of all, having served as the attorney general of the state of California, the work that I did is a model of what our nation needs to do. However, her long record as law and order prosecutor paints a different picture. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. So, yes. Kamala Harris is a defender of dirty prosecutions, a political opportunist, and an old-school drug warrior that incarcerated more blacks in California than at any other time. Instead of apologizing for her record, she tries to convince voters she's always been a progressive prosecutor. She's decided to try and convince voters that she has always been a progressive prosecutor. How do you reconcile your contradictory past with what you claim to support today? I've been consistent my whole career. Yeah, she's been consistent, all right. Consistent at telling lies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to tune in to the next Dr. James show exclusively on What TV.